there's been a lot of noise lately about the so-called end of programming, mostly fueled by clickbait headlines and AI hype that make it sound like developers are about to go extinct. And things are getting really concerning when even Tim O'Reilly, who made a fortune selling programming books with animals on the cover, writes bombastic titles like this one. But if you look closely and actually understand how technology evolves, it becomes clear that this isn't the end of programming. It's simply another transformation, just like one of the many we've seen before. Back when programming meant flipping physical switches or wiring circuits by hand, people probably thought the same thing when assembly came along. See, Java or Python each introduced new abstraction layers. Code became more human-readable, allowing more people to participate. Despite the growing number of developers, the demand for software grew exponentially. Today's panic is about AI writing code. Tools like Copilot can generate useful prototypes from a plain language prompt, and yes, the results are impressive. But if history teaches us anything, it's that making programming more accessible doesn't replace developers, it just changes what being a developer actually means. BASIC was once dismissed as a toy, WordPress was supposed to kill front-end work, and no-code tools were going to eliminate web developers entirely. None of that happened. We got more software, more complexity, and, ironically, more need for experienced developers who could clean up the mess. Buzzword concepts like chat-oriented programming, where the machine generates code based on prompts, sound like innovation, but they are just another abstraction layer, and, like every previous one, it's going to democratize access without removing the need for actual thinking. But some things will actually change. Programming is shifting from writing instructions to managing workflows, systems, and AI-powered agents. The future isn't about typing faster or memorizing syntax, it's about understanding how things fit together, how to direct AI effectively, and how to make sure the final product doesn't collapse the moment it hits production. People love saying AI will replace junior developers, but the opposite might be true. Junior devs who embrace AI tools can ship faster, explore broader ideas, and even outperform seniors stuck in old habits. As Steve Yeager put it, this is actually the death of the stubborn developer. At the same time, experienced developers who learn to collaborate with AI become supercharged. AI isn't replacing developers, it's replacing boilerplate. It's replacing the soul-sucking parts of the job that no one liked doing anyway. But it's still bad at context, judgment, and everything beyond syntax, which is where real engineering happens. We're also entering a phase where entirely new roles are emerging. Brett Taylor talks about agent engineers who help companies build AI agents that understand business logic and user intent. They aren't traditional devs, but they aren't non-technical either. The underlying shift is that programming is becoming more conversational, more collaborative, and more focused on high-level thinking rather than code as craft. But developers who have a good understanding of the fundamentals will still have an edge over everybody else. AI doesn't create new types of thinking, it just reveals which parts of the job actually require thought, and companies that treat AI as a cost-cutting shortcut will fall behind those using it to build better, smarter, more ambitious software. But the truth is that the tech world is advancing quickly these days, and if you want to keep up with it, you should also check out my second channel linked in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.